21st of February means absolutely, completely, utterly new Rumble Slam, all sorts. Yeah, so brand new two player starter box, Which including cool. a brand new casino. I don't even know what the casino is called, to be fair. A new casino? <laughs> yeah, because that's how they do the factions, is casinos. Oh, yeah, so it's yeah. a brand new faction, isn't it? Yeah. Which would be these chappies. Um, so that will have an impact on what what you can build, what you can have as part of your Rumble Slam yeah. crew. So, so um, far, they've only got the Lords of the Ring and Mushkulis. I yep. believe that's how it's pronounced anyway. I'm always going to pronounce it like that. <laughs> they've not told me anything different. Mush- I think because it's Hercules, Mushkulis, yeah. Mushroom, Hercules. That's the name they've put on there. We'll put it to put. We'll put it to vote. Mushkulis. Mushroom Hercules. That's yeah. basically what he is. He is their special fighter, and he is. Oh yeah, I probably huge. Show you the other side. <laughs> yeah, he's this magnificent titan of a of a warrior for the new Rumble Slam. Yeah. And we'll, we'll show you how big he is by actually putting him next to other models in a minute as well. Yeah. <laughs> so those who don't know Rumble Slam uh, as a so as a franchise, it's fantasy wrestling. Uh, as you can possibly tell from the fact that we have a ring in front of us, a casino team of what they look like luchador, luchadors. They're like luchador halflings, <laughs> yeah, as, which as makes them team. amazing. Um, and basically, from what I gather, because we haven't had a chance really to play with it too much, it's very much about using special moves, getting the crowd going in order to you know cheer on your team and demoralize the other team, yeah. and throw it's, people it's all the about rings. showmanship. So you're basically doing all entertainment value. You get dice where it's like you get a hooray or a boo out of it. And so it's like, how, it, did your showmanship of uh, the sport please the crowd or disappoint them? Get stuff thrown at you from the, uh, the bleachers. Yeah. Now, that's going to fall over, but hey. Now, this new box, there already was a two-player starter set, and I'm, it contained the same stuff. So... Yep. We're going to have a look at this anyway, but there's nothing new in this other than the book. Yeah, it's, the rule book is the only new thing, yeah. but it's an updated version, so you get the brand new book. And the book is available online for free anyway, mm-hmm. but I'm always a person I love the books in person. Yeah, so if you already have Rumble Slam, you can pick up that as a supplement quite easily. If you've not got Rumble Slam, you don't have to worry about buying the box set and having to then get the supplement because I guess they've updated everything in the box. And I think that artwork looks slightly different as well. Uh, perhaps. It probably has been updated. I can't remember what yeah. the old one was at that moment. No. Uh, and I know they've updated the book's artwork, which is gorgeous. Yeah, the book, they've done something. You can see really the old nice. one there. That's true, yeah. This is the, the, there's a really, it is a really nice book. It's sort of like got this matte effect. Some of it's shiny embossed, some of it's not. Um, but I guess what people kind of want to see, uh, let's start with the new halflings, Jack. Let's have a look yeah. at them. So up, over to you with that. But Lords of the Ring, which throw the little cover thing there. Mm-hmm. Have we got an idea of their stats on um, these guys? What sort of a, a player are these? South of the border Smackdown. So they are based on luchadors. They yeah, are some so Mexican wrestlers. You get a few cards in there which tell you all the stuff they can do. Cool. So, so every that's all box, their special abilities. Yep, every box comes with uh, cards to tell you about your wrestlers, uh, which is something that I really like in any game. Having reference cards makes it a lot easier, uh, less to worry about. Um, so let's have a look. You've got a halfling referee in there. Now, is my understanding that the referees, they're not a faction, they're right. They are used in the game for other things, aren't they? Because you can buy a referee box. I believe they do give you bonuses for having referees. You've got your wrestlers. Uh, so the, the really, really large man, the, the larger halfling, is called Peso Completo. Yep. Uh, so that's an interesting one. And he appears to have... Quite a high weight, weight three. Well, it's probably not that high, is it? Because he's still no, a half wing. He, he's a half wing, so he's quite <laughs> small. Throw four, pop two. Uh, and then you've got their stats on the side, attack, defense. They're grappling, I assume that might be. Uh, yeah, there's, might a, a, there's a mix. Powers. And then in the bottom right-hand corner is the cost of the uh, unit. Yep. So you pay in money, essentially, to have your team. Yeah. So each casino has a certain ones they can take. You can do anything from that casino faction. So the ones I'm fully interested in is the Gamora. Oh yeah, pronounced. that's like uh, the dark elves. Yeah, dark elves, demons, and all that stuff knocking about in there. I quite like these guys, but um, I'm looking at either these or the undead. I think. Yeah, they're quite a cool crew. Then you've got some the models to go with them. Oh, fab. They are quite small, aren't they? Yeah, the tiny, tiny little ones. So that's the referee, is it? Yeah. Uh, where's the one like with two pointing fingers? Uh, who have we got here? I think, I think maybe that this one. might be Halfling Rudo. Uh, Big cape one is that one. There's two quite big cape ones, but yeah, he's yeah, definitely the leaping through the air cape one. The big boy 
<laughs> so, boy. Where's his leg? He's missing a leg. Uh, he's the only one which actually comes in separate pieces. Because <laughs> okay. they all come in one big chunk apart from this one guy. Yeah. But I think it's too big for their printer, probably. Um, yeah, so it's his posing arm and his, his one leg. So that's cool. So that's your that's your new halfling set. Um, well, of course, you... Mushkoes as well to go with him. Mm -hmm. And then that's that's the whole uh, casino at the moment. Okay, so this is everything that's been released for the casino, which is pretty good. You've got a, you've got basically a faction and a hero character and a referee for it. Oh yeah, and a referee for the team. So that you're good to go with that. So I think there's a referee for every single casino. There's a yep. box set where you get all of them in one, and you get clear bases because this game requires you to play on your wrestling ring kind of grid. Yeah. So you need to be able to see the table underneath. So which we'll be able to show you the mat that yeah. comes in the starter set because it's a nice neoprene one as well. Yes, which is really actually well worth having. Um, so yeah, the TT Combat do these. These have still got the protective sort of paper on them, aren't they? But yeah, to make sure they don't get scratched yeah. in the postage. Yeah, but uh, they have clear bases for your halflings. Um, so that's cool. They look pretty interesting. I'm going to have to have a good read of the rule book to work out what the stats are. So in a future video, Jack or I will take you through the rule book. Mm. Um, but it's a little bit soon because this has literally just arrived today. Yeah, we've not had the rules till today, so <laughs> it's a bit um, sort of. They are available online for free as a PDF. Now, Jack, I will give you the honor of the excitement of having a look through here while I work out where to put the luchadors. I'm trying to make sure I don't rip everything. <laughs> well, it's your, your set now. So tear so it here's up. first things first. That's the nice neoprene mat. That's cool. That's pretty thick. I'm just going to take it out of the shiny plastic. Yeah, to make it easier to see. Yeah. Very cool custom dice. Okay, so it's like um, it's a rubber mouse mat material. So that's not going to go too far. Uh, I can just about fit the whole thing on the camera. But as you can see, it's a wrestling ring. Yeah, it's a very easy to thing. use. It, you can get the MDF ones, then mm -hmm. not even that much to get them. So the MDF one has a grid on it too, and I'm not sure if you can see too clearly, but this has grid markings on it in the term of little cross markings, um, which if I grab one of the, the discs, it sits in, and that's kind of your movement, yeah, I then believe. We've got a bigger disc somewhere here. Uh, yeah, there is a larger disc for larger units, which I'm guessing is about the space of four. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, in the starter set, you get a second rule book. Yep. The exact same rule book, so you're never going to have a, a lesser version of the rules by getting a starter set. Yep. Ordered. Because they have obviously now started putting the new rule book in, in the new starter set. And of course, you get the character, because you get two teams in this, you get the. Uh, Orcs and humans, basically. <laughs> Orcs and humans. Well, the humans are. So the heavy pounders, which is an ogre, I believe, a yep. human, and a couple of halflings. Yep. And then orcs on the green bru blues, uh, bruisers. Good speed out there. <laughs> you get some really nice dice. So this is what I was on about where you get the cheer and uh, boo. Okay, so these are, the yeah, these are like your, I guess, special event dice and stuff yeah. like that. So. so these dice, if you don't get the starter set, these would be a separate purchase. Same with these tokens that we've got yeah. here. And the starter set's actually really quite cheap. I, I want to say it's around between 35 to 45 pounds um, off the top of my head. I couldn't necessarily tell you, but I will just confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so £36 uh, through Goblin Gaming for the starter set, which is crazy for a full two-player game. Yeah, full starter set. Yeah, so... It's ridiculously good price. We haven't even finished going through what's in the box yet. We've only yeah, got the we've dice. Got, we've got the two tokens. Yeah. So, of course, we still need to push out at the moment. Yeah, I, I'm always afraid of pushing these things out. But uh, they're nice plastic ones so yep. they're not going to break like cardboard ones quite easily so they pop out quite easily too they've got the protective back on them as well but there's a blood drop um sorry jack i'm popping your tokens out and there's tokens. a directional arrow sweets no exclamation marks yeah so that's like stun a, i think counters, that's like crit stun or maybe? criticals and stuff like that they all have all yeah. different effects uh and i'm guessing these x's are to do with like the crowd levels and stuff it's just yeah it is off for you or it could be a KO, no idea. Yeah, we'll find out soon. And more stun. There's lots of stun counters or exclamation marks. Oh. Uh, and some stars. They've got a. They give you a, an actual little quick basic guide to the rules with a card pack. That's cool. Sorry, Jack. I'll get you some card sleeves. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got basic action. So, these are quick reference cards, which are always really handy. Uh, oh, reversals. Reverse, so, you can do reversals on your. your opponent which is nice and it is wrestling and it has like all the yeah. points uh, how much things would do damage wise uh, how much they cost to do abilities and there's two of each there so that's one for each person and, and an initiative card 
and then as well you get all the cards to do with both teams. Yep. So you get the So this is the your heavy pounders. Heavy pounders cards. So ogre, two humans and two halflings. Then oh, that's cool. Maybe you could proxy those halflings into your other halfling group. Yeah. I believe there is some crossover between the teams that you can have. Yeah, I think casinos, they go to a certain point, but you can pay more to get someone else's casino things, I have, if I remember correctly. I'm reading the old rule set, but it oh. might have changed. Yeah. I love this massive troll thing. Yeah, the troll. It's very which, cool. I've seen him painted up uh, he is. on the online Rumble Slam groups. So, start going to the green boot. Okay, so these are the green guys. So that's the green bruisers. Oh, <laughs> these guys are tangled up in the box. There you go. So these are like little goblins. Yep. So one thing to note with this, obviously, it does come unpainted and requires assembly. And uh, he's a really. This is a really cool sculpt. This goblin. Yeah. Um, that does require quite a bit of cleanup. Yeah. Because um, the resin, they do need a good cleanup before you start painting them. Yeah. So with these, as well as cleaning the flash off, you'll need your craft knife or similar to get the extra scaffold off. Uh, and they're going to need a good wash. And there's water. a troll himself. So, I'm not too sad about having to paint up some of but these guys. If we put Mushkulis next to these guys, yeah. you'll see that Mushkulis as a special character is tiny. He's their special fighter and he is <laughs> tiny compared to them. And I love that whole idea that he is yeah. tiny. I, I feel like I've mentioned tiny way too many times. Then. He's very, very small. Very small. And then we've got the... Cool. So these guys the are quite powders. cool. So this is kind of like your half ogre dude. He's just a full ogre. Just full ogre, okay. Um, that's just, I believe that's the brawler. That is your brawler. Again, quite a bit of flash to clean off there. And then the oh, other human. Very, very... So, so their resin someone, someone in the resin department needs a word. <laughs> their resin does tend to be double colours. Yeah. In the sense of... But some of them are easier to clean than the others. Yeah. Like these this white is, ones. This appears to be like a halfling, dude, yeah. Yeah, they're both halflings. And that's the other halfling. So they fit quite nicely with the size. In terms of scale, they're the same. So it's nice to see that there's some consi there's that consistency across uh, the new releases, because yeah. this is from the very first release. Yeah, um, they've not changed anything. It's just it's a good. newer resin, and then new rule book, and yeah. they've kept everything else the same. I like that. I like that they've made this guy. They've obviously, you know, modeled him on me. Of course. Nice. Yeah. Should paint him up, should, should we? <laughs> That's being a bit generous. He's pretty jacked, is that guy. But he does have the same hair as me. Yeah. And I do stand like that a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, in the corner room and just see Rich. <laughs> that's my job yeah, <laughs> to just stand like that uh, that's cool so that's the start is it? have we missed anything from that full rule book no. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten minis all the cards for them the reference cards the neoprene mat the dice the tokens the bases yeah and that's everything you need to play the game that's everything and then if you wanted it all separately so you get different teams of your own, the dice are a separate purchase, the tokens you can get separately. Yep, the uh, mat is a separate purchase. The cards come with each team anyway. Yeah, I so you really just need to book the dice, the ca characters. Tokens, well, most of us play without tokens anyway, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I've no idea how useful the tokens are in this thing. might be very, very useful in this. Yeah, true. I mean, like in Carnival, for example, which is another TT combat game, it is very useful tracking yeah. who has dive buffs and who has yeah, you know, reload buffs or debuffs, as you, as you as it were. Um, and there's will points to spend, so we'll see how similar that is on this. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you're buying stuff separately, um, if neoprene mat isn't your style... Jack, you've got something else. Yep, we've got the. You might want to pull that one out of the way. I will. I will pull that big MDF arena. So this is the deluxe version, which comes with a, a storage case underneath, which does actually have space for the neoprene mat if you want to still have it. Uh, enough room for the cards, models, tokens, and anything else you want to keep in there. That's a big footprint. But that's the same size as the neoprene mat. Um, I believe these corners come off the edge as well. Yeah. So you can actually store those in the box, so you can actually oh, so have it as a an box. actual box. That's quite cool. So, yeah, we'll, we'll verify that in future, but I believe you're probably correct. Um, TT Combat do make lots and lots of modular terrain and features like that. So it even looks like, yeah, I can feel it under there. It's even got elastic. Yeah, so the, the the ring edge. yeah you can see the ring edge. Yeah. Very, very faint on the image. 
yeah, you can feel it underneath underneath here. They've got it coiled up. So it's a really uh, nice actual 3D one. Yep. You get it nicely painted up. It's going to look amazing. That is going to look really cool. So we'll be using that for our test games. We're on quite yeah. a tight schedule, because so we've got a lot of painting to do. Uh, that's our weekend sorted. Um, so that's, uh, I'm not sure of the price of that. Probably very cheap. So yeah, that's um, it is very cheap at twenty pounds for that with all the storage below it, and the standard one was how much? Uh, Thirteen pound sixty. Okay, so you know, most neoprene game mats start at about fifteen pound for something small. Yeah. So you know, that's ideal. Um, and I do know that TT Combat also do an awesome range of things like stencils. Mm. We're gonna have to get some of those, aren't we? Oh yeah, well, I think we yeah. should get some of the because they do actually do for Rumble Song, They have yeah. the full stencil range mm. of the fa of the casinos. So we yeah. can actually do the sides or the arena itself. So we you can spray actual, paint it uh, down. So what we'll do, what I reckon what we should do with this is we don't want to obviously obscure these grid lines, but but it, maybe a Zandri dust coat. Yeah. And then put the stencil of I don't know the halflings over the top and grab some like army paint or red. Oh, because there's all these spray gaps down. on the side. We can just put all the different. Yeah, the that's true. Just around, around the side of it, around the casino edges. Or just um, the ones that we want to collect. Yeah, <laughs> so it's probably just going to be like these guys and yeah. the Python persons one. Uh, the uh, uh, Galmaro. Yeah, so the, the evil, the, the dark elf, night elf, whatever. Yeah, whatever demons, one. dark elves. It's all the uh, underworld sort of thing. Yeah, so um, I guess that's kind of it. Is there anything else you want to look? There, there we go, perfect. That's Python, I think. Uh, or, that or is one of the other ones. Phage. That Page. one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Python thing is in not her. part of that faction. Is she not? No, she is a different one. I can't remember what it's called now. So, yeah, the Forest Souls, she's part of. Ah, that was it. Um, who are the, like, the Wood Elves one. That was the other faction I wanted because the Timber Fists, the big tree dude, looks yeah. really cool. And they get a Triceratops. Yeah, there's so many cool ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. We're going to take a more in depth look. Oh, there we go. There's Mush. Mushkulis there doing his thing, maybe? No, no it's not, that's is the, it? That's, um, that's a, from the Timber one. That's a Timber Fist, dude. Um, there you go. So we'll take a proper in-depth look at this. Um, we'll have a proper game of it so you can see how that goes. Uh, but you've got to bear with us a minute because poor old Jack has to build all of this. Build and paint it all. Yeah. Best start reading. <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs>